whole out of ideas. I, I didn't, I, I didn't see anything. Until I wake up one day and I started envisioning myself talking to other people on a TV show. And I even named it Woody Born to Talk. But I got the show named very different. So it is so true that you need to really see it, guys. You really need to see your future. Because you know why? I really want to invite you to see it clearly. Smell it, taste it. Where is it gonna be? Which city? What? How? How will you be dressed? You know, what kind of format? Who will you be talking to? What are the conversations like? Because most of the things in life that you see and you really see will happen to you. But you gotta be so accurate because if you don't have that, that's like going to Google Maps and you. You did not enter a destination. In life, if you don't see it visually, what you're gonna be doing in the future, that's like going through life with the Google Maps without entering the destination. Google Maps will be lost, or not even lost, it'll be idle. You're not gonna be going anywhere. And at first, at, you know, when I was 22, 23, after graduating, I thought, no, I don't need to have a dream. I'll just go with the flow. The flow did not take me anywhere. The flow just took me to the wrong destinations in life. But once you have that vision, that one vision of what you're going to be doing here on earth and your purpose, once you have that vision, go with it. Because at the end of the day, after making money, after being famous, at the end of the day, you come to that one big question, why are you here on earth? And what are you meant to do? I don't want you to be wasting 20 years of your life running around, beating around the bush, and you don't get to see that destination. What if he, Omar, leaves Stanford today and his car crashes and he dies? What if that happens? It's okay, you can die. We, we are born to die. But my point is, at least he has a vision, he has a dream, and he's working on that dream all his life, and he's gonna get there. But at least he's going there. Better than not knowing where you want to be or what you want to do. That's the most important thing. Now, I am going to give you the secret sauce right now on how to accomplish everything you want in life. Are you interested? Are you really interested in getting everything you want in life? I can't hear you guys. Yes. Yes. Now, pen and paper, jot this down. <laughs> After you accomplish or have created that vision or goal, ask yourself, what's the one thing you will need to do What's the one thing, and one thing only, you will need to do this year to become the president of Guinea? Let's see. What's the one thing that you need to do? Can you stand up for one? What's the one thing, is there a microphone? Another microphone? Yes. Can you hear this thing, please? Thank you. Let's, let's do this exercise together. And then the rest of the class, everyone has their own dreams, okay? You can have a coffee shop, or you can become the best director, or the uh, you know, top talk show host, interviewing people around the world, you know? It's okay. Write that down. What's the one thing that you need to get done this year in order for you to become the president of Guinea? Focus and determination. Excuse me? Focus and determination. That's not concrete enough. 
what has to happen this year, this year, how about 2019? What, <laughs> the year's about to end. Yeah. What has to happen in 2019 so that in order for you to become the, uh, the president of Guinea in the year 2035? Um, one thing, one thing only. I have to change my mindset. <laughs> Something greater more than the one I have right now. Okay. 2019, you will have to change your mindset. Greater than what you are right now. Okay. Maybe find more information. Study politics. How about this? Let's change out of it. The mindset you can change right now in this room. But do you understand politics? Do you understand? Yes. I like do. you fully understand the system? Not fully no. Understand, no. So you will need to be educated about politics by next year. Yes. At all levels, at all levels, in all societies, all types of systems, communism, social, every type of system, right? By 2019. So, what needs to happen? What's the one thing that needs to happen this year so that next year you'll be educated with political science? What has to happen this year? One to, thing. I have to join the political science studies. You have to join a political, political science course this year. this year. So, what has to happen this month? One thing. We're going back now, guys. See? I'm tracking back. You see? What has to, what's the one thing that has to happen this month so that you will be enrolled in a political science course by this year? I don't know, maybe ask something. You have to know, you have to know. <laughs> what has to happen this month so that by the end of the year you will be enrolled in a political course? I don't know if that would happen because if so, I do, I will adjust my So by this year, you need to have one answer as to where you're going to go and study political science, whether it be online. That's gonna happen in October. What's the one thing that needs to happen this week so that in October, you will sign up or be enrolled in a political course? What needs to happen by this week? You have to start looking for the political course by this week. What has to happen today so that by this week, you have to start looking for political courses. The answer is, I have to start today. you have to start searching today. Yes. Congratulations, you've just become the president of Guinea. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. That's the one thing I would introduce you guys to. The concept of the one thing. So when you're lost, when you don't know where to go or how to go there, you just use this concept. The one thing. And this theory I've never shared with anybody at all. But I'm sharing with you guys because, because I see your faces, you know? And I and I can I can feel that you're really listening to what I'm sharing with you. So I hope that you will be able to nail it right away what you want to get done in 10 years. And ask yourself, what's the one thing that has to happen this year so that you get to that? And then track back. What has to happen this month with the one thing, just one thing, not 10 things, one thing that has to happen this month so that you would get to that this year. And what has to happen, what's the one thing that has to happen this week so that by this month you get that? And what has to happen today, the one thing, so I'm pretty sure the one thing that's in your list right now is search, right? Search, making calls, making calls, search, doing something, engaging yourself. That's the one takeaway I would like you guys to take out of this room other than, of course, sitting at lunch and staring at your food for two minutes before chucking it, chucking it down, okay? Hey guys, my time is up. Thank you so much for such a lovely welcome, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the inspirational session that we got today. I'm sure we learned a lot. I'm already 
my half fellow pandemic story now with Pastor OJ. We get to know that. So that is. Beginning. Yeah. Omar. So, President Omar. So that is an important point for today, right? Yeah. So next, I would like to invite Dr. Andrew Stown, President of Stanford International University, to and with him to be a token of appreciation. Yes, please. Thank you. Well, good morning. Uh, in fact, I'm going to elevate you. You are now a giant woman. <laughs> because you have given us today the art of the unexpected. I've been watching people petrified that you were going to put a microphone in front of their mouth <laughs> and ask them a question. You've given us the art of the unexpected. We've got today a Bachelor of Medicine, a Bachelor of Psychology, 12 months free therapy with our counsellor. <laughs> a vision for the future. So thank you for that very, very, very much. We're very honoured that you actually like us and keep coming back to us and we're very indebted to you. And I think there's a history here because I think you have a special relationship with Ajahn Buraman. Tell us about that. Well, we used to work together on Channel 9, MCOT, M-C-O-T. My first show, like a, my first talk show, like a legit one, was on Channel 9. I was on Born to Talk. I was called Born to Talk on State Channel 9. And um, let me tell you the story, guys. I, I went to every network telling them, I want to do a talk show at the age of 30, and it's going to be called Woody Born to Talk. And you know what the, everyone said? They said, you're too young. You gotta be 40 something to have your own talk show. And then, no, 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 no. I'm gonna have it now. So I went to every single network and they all said, no, no, no. Until I went to Channel 9. And Channel 9 just said, oh yes, let's do it. Oh yes, let's do it. So, a round of applause for Ajahn, please, for making that happen. <laughs> I would never be here today. I would never be here today. Let me say one word. The you first never time. Say one word. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can say one word. Yeah, there are many words. Yeah. You gotta change that at time. That's the one thing. You're not gonna say I need to say because, one word. Because I think I'm humble. You, you, you're gonna, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Stanford, you don't need to be humble. You just not, I'm gonna say a lot of words. Let's begin again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say my words. I'm gonna say a lot of words. I'm going to say a lot. Yeah. Yeah. of TV Modern Eye. Yes. And at the time, we just changed the logo. Remember yes. that? Changed the logo. Yeah. Change the logo. And then, when I first met him, I talked to him in my office, in my room. You know, he gave me a lot of impression. Such a young guy. My goodness, but he have, have a lot of vision. And the thing that impressed me, so I met him and said to him, yes, let's go together. So this is the thing. Ajahn Biruan, thank you so much for being happy. Thank you. And I think that's important because it talks about relationships. And relationships are one of the success factors of our life. So we always will have our mentors, we'll always have those people who support us and encourage us. And that's what you've done with us today. So on behalf of Stanford, uh, students, faculty, staff, let's give a big round of applause to Ajahn Wu. And we look forward to a long and continued relationship. Thank you so much. So next we have some token of appreciation that I would like to present to you. Very healthy too. Thank yes. you. <laughs> So finally, this is it for our 
today's event. On behalf of Stanford International University, I would like to thank each and every one of you for spending your time out of your busy schedule to come join this spectacular event. And I hope you guys learn a lot to improve your life and change your mindset. Don't forget to stay tuned for the further our inspirational event series that might be coming up soon. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Yeah.